Hey, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making Mississippi Pot Roast Meatballs. This video is sponsored by the Pennsylvania Beef Council. I am so thrilled to be working with them today. As a wife and a mom of four kids, I am cooking with beef on a weekly basis and it is just the perfect protein to use for a nutritious and tasty meal for my family. Now I have prepared Mississippi pot roast here before on my channel and that's a recipe video that I'll link for you down below in my description box. It is so incredible. I don't make pot roast any other way. It's this really buttery, rich, savory sauce over a traditional pot roast. But today I thought I would mix things up a little bit and make meatballs out of ground beef. Now this would be the perfect weeknight supper, or if you made them bite size, this would be awesome for your holiday entertaining. No matter where you shop, all beef that goes through a USDA inspection facility has met the same safety, wholesomeness, and labeling standards. The beef that ranchers and farmers are raising is the same that they eat themselves. You are purchasing a nutritious, wholesome product at whatever price point you can afford. Be sure to purchase ground beef that is cool to the touch and has no holes or tears in the packaging. Also, choose a package that doesn't have excessive liquid inside. Keep your raw beef cold until using, and try to prepare fresh beef within two days of purchasing or freeze it until needed. I'm starting with my meatball mixture, and today I have about two and a half pounds of 85-15 ground beef. So that means 85% lean, 15% fat which I think is the perfect kind of beef to use for these meatballs because they're not gonna simmer for hours in a sauce. They cook really quickly, probably in about 20 minutes. So if they're a little bit fattier, it's not gonna render as well and you might get some little chewy bits. So these are gonna be nice and tender. So to my ground meat, I'm gonna add one cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. So we'll just sprinkle those in and that's gonna help bind them together along with two eggs. So we'll crack those in. And then one of the key ingredients in our really rich and savory sauce is a ranch seasoning packet. But if you don't have that on hand, you can make your own seasoning. And we're gonna add some of those same flavors right into our meat mixture too. So for the meat, I'm gonna use a quarter teaspoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, dried dill, and dried parsley, and then a little pinch of salt and pepper too. And next, we're gonna use our hands to mix this together. So now my meat and the seasonings are all mixed together, so I'm gonna roll my meatballs. And I'm gonna do both sizes today, kind of the dinner size and then a little bite size appetizer meatball too. I have a baking sheet over here that I just lined with foil and sprayed with a little bit of baking spray so that it's non-stick, just so I have kind of a landing pad for my meatballs. Don't forget to wash your hands with soap and warm water before and after handling raw beef. I have about a tablespoon of olive oil preheating over medium heat in my nonstick skillet. And I'm gonna cook these meatballs just so they're brown on all sides, um, probably in about two batches, just so you don't crowd the pan because you want them to get nice and crispy and brown as opposed to kind of steam. At this point, they're not gonna be cooked through. We just want them nice and brown on the outside. Once they're browned, we'll remove the meatballs from the pan, make the incredible sauce inside, and then add the meatballs back in. And then we'll cover it up and then they'll cook completely then. Now we're starting on the sauce. So I turn the heat off on my skillet and the first thing I'm adding is two cups of water because I promise you, you're gonna want lots and lots of this sauce. If you're serving this as an entree, this is amazing over mashed potatoes or rice or egg noodles. And then as an appetizer, you're gonna want that extra sauce kind of dripping off of all of your little mini meatballs. Okay, so we have that. Now I'll turn the heat back on. 
So I put it back over medium heat and now we're gonna add two of our key seasonings. So easy from the grocery store, a ranch packet and a brown gravy packet. Now if you don't have a ranch packet or you can't find the dried ranch seasoning at your grocery store, you can substitute a half a teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, dried parsley and dried dill and then a little pinch of salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna open these up, dump them in and then I'm gonna use a whisk to incorporate them into our water. Next, I'm adding in one stick of unsalted butter. My husband loves this sauce extra buttery. It would be equally as delicious with just half a stick of butter, so it's up to you how much you'd like to add. And then lastly, I'm adding in about eight or 10 of these whole pepperoncini peppers. You could substitute some pickled jalapenos if you do wanna spice it up a little more and you don't care for the pepperoncini flavor, or even a splash of pickle juice or vinegar would work here too. I'm also using about a quarter cup of the actual juice inside the jar too. Now these peppers can pack a little bit of a punch, especially when you add the juice. So if you really want to avoid any heat in your dish, I would omit this ingredient, but it'll still be really rich and delicious with the brown gravy and ranch seasoning. So the sauce is simmering, it smells amazing, and now we're gonna add all our meatballs back in. My last step is to cover the meatballs and allow them to simmer on low until they're cooked through. I used a meat thermometer to check the internal temperature of my meatballs. Once it reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit, your ground beef is cooked through. If you want to thicken the consistency of your sauce, just mix two tablespoons of flour with two tablespoons of water and then pour it into your simmering sauce and that'll act as a thickening agent. My kitchen smells amazing and I am so excited to give these meatballs a taste. Now I serve these up over some fluffy mashed potatoes which is the perfect vehicle to absorb all of this delicious gravy. Let's see how I can do this here. Get a lot of sauce, a little potato. Mm. Oh yes. This is so much flavor packed in here. It is so savory, so rich, very buttery. It's absolutely incredible. You are going to love these meatballs. And as I mentioned earlier, this would be the perfect quick and easy weeknight entree to serve your guests during this holiday season. Or if you make the mini version, you can have it as a holiday appetizer. Thank you so much to the Pennsylvania Beef Council for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you visit pabeef.org for your all things beef resource. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw here today. Thank you so much for joining me here today in my kitchen and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe.